Well, I, I had a girlfriend for see, two years after I graduated. We met at USM, and it, it, it just... It was it was a good relationship at the start, but how we met and everything was kind of you know just the circumstances involving it you know, and uh, it was a good relationship, but it just took a turn where we were both into you know I was drinking a lot and then she was doing other stuff too you know like I'll say smoking pot and everything like that because I was into that too before I smartened up, and uh, it just kind of spiraled out of control and then it wasn't. Then we moved in together, and it just wasn't good because we'd be fighting all the time, and it just, I don't know, it, it ended badly where we don't even talk to each other anymore, and we were really good friends. So, I mean, it's kind of, I don't know. Basically, you got to be mature in a relationship and realize that, hey, if it's falling apart, it's time to go, then just just go. Even if you live together, that's, I think that was what's hard because there was many times where I wanted to end it, but I didn't, or I couldn't because I was like, man, where am I going to live? You know, or what am I going to do with my apartment or all my stuff? And so it was like, it sucked. It was just like stuck it out from when we didn't have to, you know. And then I've struggled with, you know, alcohol. Uh, I mean, that, that runs in my family, alcohol abuse. And I was really good because I didn't drink all throughout high school. And then when I got to college, I didn't drink at all until like my, I don't know, my second semester, my freshman year. And then it was like every weekend, that's all I did. And then once I got my own apartment, it went from like every weekend to every day. And then there'd be days where I wouldn't even go to work because I'd be hungover or something like that. And so, yeah, that was, that was another reason I joined the Army was to get my life in order in that sense where, because I, I quit all the other stuff that I was doing, but then I just started solely drinking. So joining the Army and not being able to smoke, dip, drink any of that stuff for you know four months and if you do get caught with that you are in serious trouble like you lose your rank you lose your money you lose all kinds of stuff it was definitely like an eye-opening experience to be like okay I mean after four months I didn't touch that stuff and when I got home I had a little bit but I, overall I was like I don't I don't really need that anymore like once in a while it's fine I can I condone that but once you're doing it all the time then you then you gotta, you gotta get help basically if you're not willing to change it yourself then you gotta get help.